Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale in the last episode. We met the legendary duo of Sans and Papyrus. I uh, heard quite about them over the years. I can't believe I could say years because Undertale has been out for actual years now. And I have not played it until now. But in this episode, that is changing because I'm still playing it right now. Warning, dog marriage. <laughs> what? Warning, dog marriage. Does that mean they're going to be humping or something? Uh, that looks like progress. This looks like a random battle. Lesser dog appears. I thought this was a main character. I know he has a figurine that they sell at the store. Uh, maybe he's just a very beloved character or something? Pant, pant. Aw, oh, doggy! Look how cute! Okay, lesser dog cocks its head to one side. Can I pet it? Pet, 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 pet. He barely lives through your head and lesser dog got excited. Tiny bark is... I saw his neck got slightly longer. Oh wait, no. Uh. Oh yes, they're warning us about this. So that's what that means. So blue. This only applies with dogs, though. So blue means don't move. White is. Uh, it's gonna be afraid of us, so it's not gonna come near us. And then red means human. It's gonna like go after us. But it was also like yellow when it said it, or yellow when it was red. I don't know. Uh, so I guess I understand what that means now. Uh, let's pet him again. His neck gets even longer. Lightly touch the dog, it's already overexcited. Pam pat. Uh, there's the cute little doggy. Uh, what the fruit? It didn't even hit me! Uh, you put the dog raises its head. Yeah, its head just keeps getting longer and longer. I wonder how far I could go. Oh, come on, stinking dog. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Pet the dog, it was a good dog. Excited noises. The lesser dog is over stimulated. Oh, I just want to see how long his neck gets. Uh, I'll cut away until something different happens. Critical pet dog excitement increased. Excited noises. It won't even attack us anymore. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor revving! Uh, you don't even pet it. It gets more excited. <laughs> Plane take off! There's no way to stop this madness. Kettle! Sultan. Legend Dog enters the realm of the clouds. Can't even hear it speak anymore. You call the dog, but it is too late. It cannot hear you. Far away. Oh my god, it's coming back down? What? <laughs> it's, like, it's just you can reach the lesser dog again. Bark! You pet lesser dog. Uh, Just keep going. How long can this go? It just keeps stretching. Okay. Pam, pam. I could probably end the fight now. Yeah, but I'm not going to. I just want to see how long its head- Wow, it went through its text bubble. It's possible that you may have a problem. Pant <laughs> pant. Uh, keep on petting. It's possible you may have a problem. Oh my god, its tail is wagging like crazy. It's like a dog and a worm and a knight all in one. My three greatest desires or something. I may have a problem, but I want to see how far this goes. If it could go like the entire screen, that's gonna be crazy. And of course, I'm gonna try and find out. Uh, let's keep on going. Keep on going. Just keep trucking. Lesser dog is unpetable, but appreciates the attempt. Pant, pant. Oh, I think that's it, unfortunately. So it just goes all the way up and then all the way back down. That's thinking funny. Wait, what? It's whining about something? Attack 12, defense 2, wields a stone dogger made of power granite. I'm glad I read that. Uh, unpetable appreciates the attempt. It is whining because it can't see you. <laughs> we'll just put it out of its misery. You won. You were zero experience and 25 gold. That was funny. Is that an enemy that I just always find, or... I don't even know. That was stinking weird. So I think how the battles aren't super plentiful. I still don't kind of like that they just appear out of nowhere, but still, it's pretty okay. And oh, we could run through this. 
Looks very cool. Not just because it's snow. Huh. X marks the spot. Whatever that is, I don't even know. It won't tell me. Do I just have to keep taking everything off? Do I need to, like, literally remove all of the snow? Ugh. Hello. What the fruit? Ice cap and snow drake confront you, sighing. Jerry. What? Uh, oh, okay, this is, his name is Jerry. Sure. Uh, we'll fight Snow Drake. 33 damage. Why are we doing this? What are, what if I better not? Snowflake out of me. Okay. Oh yeah, he's the one who likes puns. Jesus Christ. Oh God, so many attacks. Act, Snow Drake, laugh at his joke so I can get rid of him. Oh God, this is really difficult. Like you have to remember all the social cues to defeat enemies in big groups. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh God, hurry up and mercy him. Get rid of him. Wait, what about something sucking? Uh, go up and down. Okay. We're gonna light attack to ice cap. What a great hat, mine. Guys, it's cold, does anyone know? Oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. Okay. Spare him. Huh? Did they ditch me? Some friends! Jerry sneezes without covering his nose. Okay. Uh, do I? I ditch him? You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. You won! You were in zero experience 18 gold. Poor Jerry. But that wasn't it. So we found an X in the ground, but what do we do with it is my question. Yes, you read that correctly. <laughs> okay, it changes again. When I was like warning dog marriage, and I was like, yes, you read that correctly, but what do I do? Oh no, don't tell me I have to bring the snow up here to this square. That's gonna be impossible. Well, that was something. I didn't think it was just right stinking here. Oh my god, I was like going around the entire stinking area looking for a stinking thingamahoozie and... You laugh at him before he says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Oh, uh, I guys stink at this. Okay, whatever, but... I was like walking around the entire stinking area looking for the solution to that stinking puzzle and wound up being like... Uh, it didn't even matter in the end, and... Oh my god, I'm just like... Ugh, this is like my concerns of this being a blind up because it's not just a story driven thing. That's why I sort of could get away with Walking Dead and Life of Strange being blind LPs because they're just story things and you don't have to do all that many puzzle solving. It's just playing the game and experiencing the story and stuff, but with this, it's a bit different, so I might... What the heck? I need to check it. Oh god, where'd you have fights you with cold blood? Oh jeez, 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 oh jeez. Act, Snow Drake, laugh at his joke. But yeah, I was just like walking. I went to the beginning of the sinking area again, and I saw that the door was closed. I thought like it would be the third that locked room in Toriel's house was what we needed to go and do. But it wound up being something entirely different, and uh, I don't even know what to say. Attack the ice cap. And just dodge it ever so slowly. Kind of wish these were a bit faster after a while. Awkward. Ditch Jerry. Poor Jerry. I don't know why he's just like the one everyone picks on. Oh my god, I went all the way up there to try and find it. My stinking god, I should have just like assumed or whatever. Now what's we what's over here? What the heck? Hello? What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify yourself. Your smell? <laughs> I was gonna make the pun myself, but then I saw it, um, like right there. So that's kind of funny. As long as I don't move, they can't see me. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Okay, it didn't work. What the fruit? Dog, doggy, a salty. Oh, is this the dog wedding? Oh, they're so happy. Doggummy, dogaressa. Uh, I don't want to break up the lovely couple. 
doggy assault you, uh, act pet. The dogs like the pets are too suspicious of your smell. Paws off, you smelly human. That's not your husband, okay? Ouch. I've been impaled. Dogs are practicing the next couple's contest. Uh, let's re-sniff. We'll sniff them. The dogs sniff you again. But you smell just as weird as before. Mm, what's that smell? Smell mystery. Uh, what the fruit? So as long as I can get hit by the blue hearts while I'm not moving, that'll be good. But if I... Oh god, this is so stinking confusing. Uh, roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Don't touch my hot dog. He's, he means me. Oh, okay then. I was thinking about his other hot dog, know what I'm saying? Oh god, how do you avoid that? Dogs may want to re-smell you. Okay. Uh, re-sniff. Dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. What? Well, smells like, uh, actually, you actually, are you actually a little puppy? And you attack us anyway. Oh god. Oh Jesus. I don't know how you avoid that attack. Dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Can I, like... Uh, roll around some more. Roll around the dirt and snow, smell like a weird puppy. Don't actually... Oh jeez. This could be bad. I'm at 1 HP. Uh, how do I heal this? Spy donut? You ate the spy donut? Cover 12 HP. Don't touch my hot dog. He means me, okay? Oh god, how do I avoid this? Oh my god. Re-sniff. Dogs already know you smell fine. Well, it smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? So, they know I smell fine, so why are they still attacking me? I don't understand. I gotta eat the stinking cider. Just to stinking live. Number two, Puzzle Champs, 98. Of course, we're second. Okay, I'm understanding the basic concept a bit better. I always think they may be a lost puppy. So what do I do? Roll around, pet. Oh, I can pet them? You pet the dog, Aressa. What about me? A dog that pets dogs? Amazing! So that's what I gotta do. Okay. Now, as soon as I finally get the puzzle solved, and I get hurt anyway, cool. Act. Uh, pet him. You pet dog of me. Wow, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. I can't pet you both at the same time. Huh. Dog's minds have been expanded. Oh, hey, cool. Now that we can mercy them. You won! Earned zero experience and 40 gold. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up to us. Thanks, weird puppy. This took a lot longer than it should have. Let's just keep going. Uh, what is this puzzle? Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. How do I turn them into an O? Well, that's simple enough. Do that, and... Oh, hey, Papyrus. He should be fun to talk to. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Uh... Ate it or left? Like, what's gonna humor him? He, is there any left for me? That means he wants to eat it. Uh... But if I say I don't eat it, then that might upset him. I'll say I left it behind, cause like... The way he worded it, it said, Is there any left for me? Like, he wants to have some. I'll say I left it behind. Really? Wowee! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta! Just so you could share it with me! Fret not, human! I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want! <laughs> well, I guess that was the right answer. Hello, buddy. My brother started a saw collection recently! How saddening! Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him! Yo! <laughs> huh. Over here, it's the same thing, I guess. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face! Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different! And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around! 
I suppose what I'm saying is... Worry not, human! I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum! Then we can both proceed! Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give any answers away! Uh, if I talk to him again, does he give me the answer? So, you want a hint, huh? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all the X's into O's! You should try that. Ask again for more great hints. Are you kidding me? Eureka! I figured out the puzzle! You seem like you're having fun, though. Do you absolutely, absolutely want the solution? Do you absolutely, absolutely want the answer? No. Wow, you're truly a puzzle passioneer. I'm so enthused by your enthusiasm. Uh, turn over X into an O. Oh my god, he's so stinking dumb. Uh, let's go over here. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's a bit more difficult this time. Uh, triangles, oh jeez. Uh. Oh god, they stop. They stop after triangles. That resets. Okay, cool. Huh. There you go. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I could do that at least. And we're good. Wow, you solved it! My advice helped! It really helped you! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yo ho ho ho! Like, I want to give him the Brook laugh, but at the same time, like, I don't know, I feel like he should have, like, a multiple multitude of different laughs and stuff. I want to do, like, the Brook laugh and then also, like, the Drake right across laugh. He's like, ha 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 ha! Hey, did you, did, didn't you ask for help? That was right here. Uh. Okay, did he not want me to ask for help? Was that it or something like that? I don't know. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Elphys! You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they'll begin to change color! Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable! You cannot walk on them! Yellow tiles are electric! They will electrocute you! Green tiles are alarm tiles! If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster! Orange tiles are orange scented! They will make you smell delicious! Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through it if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Oh, God. I have a feeling I know where this is going, so I'm just gonna say, of course. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random! When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before! Not even I will know the solution. yo -ho -ho -ho! Get ready! Oh, God, wait, he was serious? I thought, like, the joke would be that it just wouldn't turn on. Oh, God! <laughs> he just spins out of there! What was the red- what did the red tiles do again? Ah, oh, let's not find out. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. Also, this looks similar to another piece of mer merchandise that I know of. Oh my god. Oh, is it like alive? It's the broken head of a snow dog. Oh, how sad. Boy, the snowman was alive, so does that mean the snow dog was once alive? The base of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow Okay, so a bunch of dead snow dogs. Another uh, checkpoint. On the floor inside the box of pomeranians. What? Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Please pet dog. It's funny because it's spelled incorrectly. Knowing that the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. 
I kind of hope this game isn't entirely puzzles. Like, I remember with Rakuen how uh, I was stuck on puzzles for a long second time. It was kind of hard to get through, and it was just like, uh, I don't know if I entirely enjoyed this, but then it wound up becoming, like, very, very story-driven. And I hope that uh, comes back with this game. I want story more than just gameplay and puzzles, as weird as that sounds, because I want to know what it is that people adore about this game. Is it just the, the humor? Is that it? Is it the weird combat that switches it up from typical RPGs? Is that enough to make it, like, one of the most beloved games of all time? Right? Like, I've this entire time I've been expecting to fall in love with this game the second I played it. And there have been games that have done that for me, like Knights or Life is Strange. The second I played it, I fell in love with it and wanted to go through to the end no matter what. But with this game, I'm just not entirely there yet. I'm sure I'll get there eventually, or at least I hope I will, but I'm not quite yet seeing what it is that people adore about this game. Unless it has just been the humor this entire time, but I was just expecting something more than humor. I guess we'll see. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow, until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Yeah, I could only imagine. Uh, just turn all these noise that ice. Yeah, this is gonna be possibly difficult. Uh, do that and that. Oh, I didn't think of that. Papyrus. <laughs> it's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. Gee, I wonder who made that. Uh, that's very funny. At least I got to see that. So I can't go off the edges. Duly noted. Go across here. And I go off the edge anyway. Cool. Try it again. One. Two. We're just going like a big circle. Seems like it so far. Wow, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And we're good. Ta-da! I made a bridge! And I just slide on in here. Slide into your DMs like... Oh, I had snow on top of my head. Uh, which way to go? That looks like progress. Uh, Sands is there, so that might also be progress. I just want to know which one looks more like a dead end. Snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh, there's a there's 30G inside this. What is this? Do we take it? Hello. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, he's so terrifying! It's the greater dog! Oh my god, so that was lesser dog and greater dog. Oh, that's such a weird fake out. I don't think I've seen this thing before. I've, I've seen lesser dog, but not greater dog. Uh... I assume we just have to pet it over and over. Greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. What? Interesting. Beckon. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you. Flecking slobber into your face. Uh, oh god darn it, it switches colors, that's not fair. Uh, pet. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh jeez, bark, 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 bark. I was wondering what would happen if I moved. Good, I was patting, is patting the ground with its front paws. Uh, play. <laughs> you make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very excited. It's very tired. It rests in its head on you. This is so weird. Pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. So I just need to keep petting. Uh, my heart did go a bit slower that time, actually. 
Pet de decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops all over with its legs hanging into the air. Don't do anything. I get it. And now I can mercy. Somehow that... Well, actually, uh, I probably could have ended the lesser dog fight. Oh, he comes out! He's so cute! And the human is just like, whatever. Okay, what? That was stinking weird. Can I get the 30G? Snow puff. Okay. Uh, it doesn't even matter anymore. Woof. It must be bigger on the inside. Yeah, you'd think. So, let's go back over to Sands, I guess, before we head over there, because that looks like- Sands is gone! What? Ugh, so many choices I'm missing out on. And evil lurks around here. And another thing. Griff Trot. Or Gift Trot. <sighs> What's all the sneezing? No. <laughs> My god, am I getting sick or something? Uh, probably from being out cold all day. Get this off me! Oh jeez, oh jeez, I wasn't paying attention- Oh god. That's interesting. Uh, undecorate. You remove the striped cane that says I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. And he still attacks us. Uh, undecorate. Remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. That's a little better. So we're just making him happier and happier. Oh jeez. Oh wait, no I can't. Uh, undecorate. You remove a childhood photograph of Snow Drake and his parent. A weight has been lifted. Your trust problems have been taken away. You won! Hmm, <laughs> this is a dead end. I wish I got to talk to Sans. This looks scary. My god, like, where do they want me to go with the lesser dog and the greater dog and the- This looks like progress, this looks like story. It's a door. What would have happened if I had talked to Sans before, though? Oh, I don't like this. I want to know what happens. I'm missing out on a bunch of things. Oh, whatever. Hopefully it was just flavor text and nothing would have happened. But like, there's a door over here and everything, like, missing out on all the cool stuff. Not like painting a giant sinking armored doggy wasn't cool, but still. Uh, if we go over here, though, there's a bridge. And at the end, we find ourselves... Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! When I say the word, it will fully activate! There's a dog hanging up there. Uh, cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because... I... Am... About... To do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one! I am a skeleton with standards! My puzzles are very fair! And my traps are expertly cooked! But this method is too direct! No class at all! Away it goes! Phew! What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yo! Ho! Ho? What a stinking weirdo. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay, something tells me a boss fight's coming up. Welcome to Snowden. We made it to the town. Uh, this probably would have been a good point to end the other episode off. Or maybe I can combine these two episodes. I think I would like to do that. Sorry, that's just the way the blind LP rumbles. I guess this is how you save items now. This little baskets right here. You can only hold one item in here at a time? Oh no, okay, so the box has a tough glove. What's in here? What's a tough glove? No, get out of here. 
Uh, what do we got? Tough glove. Uh, weapon attack five, a worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. I'm a five-fingered folk. I, at least I think so. My sprite doesn't really say so, but I'll just assume so. Equip the tough glove. Coolio. But I guess that's it for now. Such a, such a friendly town fills you with determination. I think we're going to end the episode off right here. So we got through the entire... I'm going to combine these two things and like try to cut out that outro. Hopefully it all works out and stuff. But whatever, we made it to Snowden and whatever. And we're going to explore this place in the next episode. Next time on Undertale, we will explore the city of Snowden. This is Midnight and Beyond, and what the fruit was behind that sinking door back there. Good night.